with a light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine This little light of mine Ah! The light! Could be 238 or gamma radiation. Either way, her brain is fried. Pen won't take her. Maybe we can use her for the harvest, though. You gonna be the one to escort her back? Let's just do this. I wanna get home before it gets dark. Just walking around here. You're not contaminated, are you? Where are you from, anyway? Because I know everyone around these parts, what's left of it, but I don't know you. I just I used to uh, live a few streets down. What happened? Excuse me? Was there a fire? A fire? How long you been hiding? I don't know. Months? I lost track of time. You been holding out underground? No, not, not holding out. They murdered her. What's that now? Those guys, they... They murdered her right on the street. Yeah, unfortunately, that's common. You see, they've been killing off everybody that is affected by the blasts. If you're healthy, like you and me, they take you in as slaves. She must have been crazy. Well, you smell like shit. When was the last time you showered? Well, come on. I know a place. Fresh water. Hey, I thought you were gonna give me privacy. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Old habits die hard. They call me Peaky for a reason, sweet thing. You're welcome for the bar of soap, by the way. I only got one bar left. don't know nothing, do you? Well, they started hacking the conglomerates. Soon after that, they started breaking into the rich neighborhoods. 
They wouldn't stop until there was nothing left. They got too big in numbers. Who? They call themselves the disciples. You've probably seen the mark around here. They got our town, and the next town's over. And who knows what else by now. Not enough power signal streak to get the, the news around here anymore. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if it spread across the country by now. What was wrong with the water? Contamination and radiation had been running rampant. Our power plant went down a few weeks ago, went down in flames. Most of the survivors have been running around with a lot of problems with themselves. Just like the poor woman you saw earlier. Hell, I wouldn't even call them human anymore. I've seen some cases where skin's falling off and mutating. It ain't a pretty sight. Why would they do this? Because they're just a bunch of poor, angry assholes trying to fight the system. If you ask me, this country needed a revolution. But this ain't no way to do it. You really don't know what the hell's going on around here, do you? What the hell happened to you? You got locked up for so long. It's okay, sweetheart. You can tell me. I left them. You left who? My husband and my two daughters. What do you mean you left them? You just up and ran off? <laughs> no. But I might as well have. I was making dinner, waiting for Charles to get home. Isabel was in the front room studying, and Desiree was out shopping. Hey, Isabel. I need to go to the basement for a few ingredients. Can you let your dad in? I saw him just pull up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sounds like the disciples. Your house must have been one of the early first. That's what they started doing, is either killing who was in the mansions or turning them into slaves. But who knows, maybe they were able to get away. Or maybe they were killed. Possibly, but we don't know that for sure. Well, tell you what. Why don't you ride with me? You have a vehicle? No, I, I didn't mean that. I meant, why don't you trek with me on foot? You need protection, and I need company. I'll pass. Listen, I know a few places the disciples congregate. And if your family's still alive, it's more than likely they're going to be at one of these compounds, slaving away against their free will. If this is the case, I can help you get them back. I assume that you ain't got one of these. And it's too bad, because you're gonna need it if you're gonna be a hero. Now, now I got a shitload of these things. I've been collecting them through the wreckage. Bullets, too. 
but I only got two hands. Now I can teach you how to use them. It ain't hard. Now I hate these son of a bitches just as much as you do. So let's work together, sweetie. My name is Sloan. Excuse me. Let's kill these motherfucking assholes and get your family back together, Sloan. Everything's gonna be just fine. Now, the first place I know about is a few miles up the road. Now, we're gonna need to take them all out if we're gonna set up camp for the night. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. You don't seem too confident. How's your aim with that thing? All right, I reckon I can spare a few minutes. Now you're gonna squeeze with your finger. You're not gonna pull the trigger. Just use the tip. Otherwise, you're gonna to shift to the left. You ever shot one of these before? I mean, my dad had one when I was little, but I wasn't allowed to touch it. All right then, this is gonna scare the shit out of you the first time. Whatever you do, don't drop it, all right? Now you're gonna line up your sights. Take a deep breath. Now squeeze. <laughs> a gala! You're a natural. But it ain't gonna be that easy when you have flesh and blood in your eye line. Now you just remember your family when doubt comes knocking on your door, you hear? Let's practice on your reloads. You actually think my husband and kids are in this place? Well, there's a good chance. See, the, the disciples have all these shanty towns set up all over where they manufacture goods or food or whatever. If your family isn't at this one, it's a good chance they'll be at the next. How many compounds exist like that? Well, I've seen at least four with my own eyes. If you go further north, that's when you hit the main fortress. And that's where Red Pen lives. Who's Red Pen? Red Pen is the son of a bitch responsible for this hellhole. You can think of him as Charles Manson or Jim Jones or whatever. All these other pieces of shit are just swallowing the Kool-Aid. They call him Red Pen on account of he corrects the ills of society. Like some teacher grading some dumb kid's mistakes on his homework. Oh, it's all childish if you ask me. We should be getting close now. Don't 
Where'd you find this one, Peaky? Oh, she just trying to get home like everyone else in this world. Is she a nightingale? She sure looks it. What's a nightingale? Nightingale's just a term for rich folk. Mostly the women's. Pure evil in the eyes of the peasant revolutionaries. Vengeance must be wrought. Ain't that right, Chopsticks? You stay here. It's okay. Why'd you bring her here, Pinky? I got no alliance to you or Penn anymore. We just trying to get by. You know damn well that Pim will cut your fucking head off if he finds out you're here. Probably kill me too for not killing you myself. I ain't scared of Pim or any of you shitless bastards. That there woman is my guest. And we just came here to get her husband back. What? The soft frame? That Frankenstein monster is about as useless as tits on a boar. If it weren't for his pure brawn to swing a hammer, he'd probably put the poor son of a bitch out of his misery two weeks ago. What kind of radiation you think is up in that head of his? Oh, it's the worst kind. And it's about to get real bad soon. Well, I still like to bring him back. It'll make that lady awful happy. I'll give some bullets and trade. The same negotiable, Peaky. You know that. Now, I appreciate you bringing in the skirt. You may have even saved your life today. Tell you what, you leave her here, and I'll let you go without notifying Penn. I don't think I can do that. Your loyalties lie here with us. You still. Then I got no choice but to put you down and take the bitch to the man upstairs. Turn around.
Of course I remember you. What have they done to you? What is wrong with him? Come on, we have to keep moving. It's radiation. I don't know which kind exactly, but I have seen this type before. The brain gets mushy and starts deteriorating. Start losing recent memories and reverts back to a childlike state. Is he gonna get better? I mean, can it be reversed? I'm afraid not. It's only gonna get worse. I'm surprised he still remembers your face. That may not last much longer. That's Orion, and the other one over there is the asteroid belt. Charles. Charles. Isabel. Desiree. Can you tell me what happened that day? Oh, I don't know. They just took me away. Desiree and Isabel just ran off. I think they got away. You think or you know? They just ran off. That was the last time I saw them. Can you describe the, the people or, or in, can you remember any names? They called each other Red and Lyle. Red. Yes, sir. I'm tired. I'm gonna get some sleep. I think it was Red Pen that broke into our house. Wouldn't surprise me. He's been pretty active in all this from the get-go. Any luck getting the leads on your girls? He doesn't remember anything. He thinks they got away. Hey, what are you doing? I haven't seen a woman in months. Just thought you might like some attention, though. I, I'm all right. Oh, come on now. I saved your life. I'm even helping you find your family. I turned it against my brothers in the process. And they're after me now, too. Uh, my husband is right there. He can see us. Oh, he don't know what the hell's going on. Probably won't never get them urges no more, neither. Slim pickings out there in that wasteland, Princess. So come on, what do you say? <laughs> Some other time. You'll come around. I'll be appreciated one of these days. Mark my words. Mom, how much longer do we have to wait here? I'm supposed to be back in the courthouse in 20 minutes to meet a new client. Desiree, your sister will be here any minute. And she has something important to tell us. Besides, it's not gonna kill you to clock in five minutes late. Time is money, all I'm saying. Desiree, be nice. Let's go. Isabel. Mom, Dad, sis. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> David, welcome to the family. <laughs> well, it's about time. I love you. I love you too, Mom.
How much are we looking at, Izzy? Ten dollars. You holding out on her? I swear to God. That's all we got. The rest of our provisions were taken up the road two weeks ago. By disciples. Just kind of find it hard to believe that a man wearing a watch only has ten dollars to his name. Here, take it. It's yours. Who the hell cares what time it is out here? I don't understand what you want from us. You have all of our money. Well, shit. I can think of a few things. I beg of you. I'll do anything. And my wife, she'll do anything. Now what the hell I want with you and your used up wife? <laughs> but we have children! <laughs> shit. Well, so do I. Somewhere. I don't scream. I like it when they scream. They'll be more punk. You said it was only going to be a few more miles. Yeah, we'll definitely hit it by nightfall. The man's name is Briggs. Mean old bastard, but no ties to the disciples. They don't want to mess with him. How do you know he's going to be friendly with us? Ain't no telling, but I'm gonna try to bribe some information out of him. The man may be pure slam, but he has a strong pulse on this wasteland. If your daughters are still alive, he'll know something. Not bad. Let it cool down for a few minutes. I'm gonna grab us some beer. So not wants to be traveled with. We gotta get her. We gotta get her now. I can just hold on there, Missy. We can't just blindly run in there. That's trespassing. And these inbred sons of bitches got more guns than the militia. So what do you propose? I'm gonna wander in there like I'm lost. I'm gonna find Briggs. I'll be real friendly to him. I'll be able to buy some time until. If you don't leave, I'll tell them to kill you. All of you. Tell who? Now, there's what in the name of Jesse James is going on back here? You find some new playthings, Izzy? Something like that. Where the hell do they come from? They're my parents. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Mom, let's eat. Isabel. Do you know where Desiree is? Please, Isabel! Yeah, no, that's enough, all right? If Izzy don't want to answer your question, she don't have to. She's a grown woman out here.
Is you saying you folks have money? Used to. What happened? Look around. What do you think? You know, your mom's a real fucking bitch. She was a bitch before our house burnt down. What's your pop's deal? Be a retard or something? Oh, no. At least you try to stick around. Where's your ring, Isabel? I don't see you wearing your ring. I mean, do you even know what happened to David? Hmm. I don't know. But I'm kind of off the mark at the moment. Mom. Come on, come Charles. <laughs> <laughs> That is not my daughter. She was a straight-A student. She didn't swear. She was engaged to a CEO of a tech company, for Christ's sake. All that shit means nothing out here anymore. She's just trying to survive like the rest of us. What she mean when she said, you didn't stick around? Nothing. Why didn't you do anything? What? You just sit there all day! She's been brainwashed by some scum and you just sit there and you don't do anything! You hey, bastard! Take it what? easy! <laughs> take it easy! It ain't his fault. I've seen fellas eat their own fingers on account of radiation. He's doing all right, all things considered. Do you remember anything? Don't you remember your daughter's face? Some of it. What? What else do you remember? I remember you locking yourself in the basement while those thugs try to kill us. Beautiful night, isn't it? Where's my daughter? Oh, don't you worry about her. She's safely nestled, getting her beauty sleep. We're leaving tomorrow. With her. Now, why you gotta be so rude? I've invited you all into my house as guests. Provided food, shelter for you. What more do you want from me? So help me, God. She tries to hold on to you. I'll rip her fucking arms off. Why don't you take a look that way? Now take a look over yonder. You scream, and that's all that's going to hear you. A fucking black hole and nothing. All that matters is right here. And your daughter's happy. Let her live in that moment. I will kill you for her. Now you listen to your mom. Izzy is now my property. She'll even say as such. Hell, we even talked about branding her. A tramp stamp right on that tight little ass of hers. Property of Briggs Incorporated. It's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? And out of your part of the family, we're gonna set the ground rules right here. As long as you're breathing any air within 100 yards of my person, you will do as I say. I'm a family man by trade, and I treat my family like gold. You will never have to feel excluded, Mom. Don't do this. 
This is a bigger game than you know how to play. And I will win every single time. Now go get some rest. Sweet dreams, Mom. We gotta kill him. As soon as the sun rises. I know. Got me a squirrel, Briggs. How many times I gotta tell you to use a goddamn shotgun, Carl? Oh, it makes Joshua nervous. I didn't want to have to unchain him. Jesus fucking Christ. Joshua's nervous because he ain't pinched his daily shit yet. Why don't you unchain him and take him around the blocks a few times? The critters can wait. Yes, sir. We need to take care of the parental units. What do you mean? Your mom's a goddamn battle axe. She ain't ever gonna play nice. So why don't you go over there, say your last words to them so I can get to it. I don't like this negativity filling my workplace. Pleasure. That's my girl. Briggs is going to kill you all. If you're lucky, maybe I can distract him for a minute while you run back in the same direction you came. Either way, you have to leave. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. It's too late for apologies, Sloan. Be grateful for the warning. You're coming with us. I mean, what does that piece of shit have to offer you? The next time some whore comes walking down the street shaking her ass, he will toss you out. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not too concerned with the competition around here. I said my piece. Feel free to take my advice. Or don't. I'll give you a minute. We have to kill him now. I got about three handguns in here loaded. How are you on ammunition? I need some more. Charles, you know how to shoot? No! Charles, you stay in here no matter what. Do you understand me? Yes. What's the matter? Nothing. You tell them to leave? What'd they say? They're leaving. I wanted to ask you something. What is it? You come with me around the back. I've got something to show you. Stole it from my dad's wallet. What the 
Rings on the south side. Rings is hit. God damn. This cunt's life is miserable for as long as you can. Get off of me! Anybody else in the house? No! There's Buddy and Julie upstairs. Just taking and leave. I won't call the police. You think I want your fucking money? Then what do you want then? Get off of me! Oh. 
What I want? Well. Get away from him! Shut the fuck up. Every time you write a check, every time you sip your morning cappuccino, every time you pay your fancy country club dues, I want you to see my face. I want you to remember that that little piece of shit you stepped on to get your plush corner office, well, he's here to get what's rightfully his. I've never seen you in my life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. You're right. No, no, you don't know you haven't. <laughs> it would have mattered if you did. I haven't seen you before today either. And this ain't personal. We just needed somewhere to start. And knowing the company you work for, seeing this lovely house and seeing how nice you people are dressed, I think this is as good a place as any to start. You know? get off of it! Hey, Twinkie, quit that shit! I think we're gonna take her with us. Huh? Hey, Lyle, quit that piddly shit, throw the mark up. Huh? this push in your face before? You ever seen a gun unplugged in person like this? I don't think so. Me? I picked up my first pistol when I was six years old. Shot my first pistol when I was ten. Hey, you know what my daddy's last words were? Huh? He said, boy, you better put that gun down. <laughs> you don't think it's funny? Oh, you city folk. Oh, no sense of humor. I got the brush just looking at you. Now, loud! Why don't you take that nice lady into the kitchen there, turn the gas on, and light this place up. We got four more houses in this street to hit before now. Get off my Get off Twinkie, Jesus Christ. Hey, take your fucking paws Please off of her. her. Huh, Twinkie! You fucking animal. Take your paws off of her. Please don't hurt that. Shut the fuck up. Now, we ain't gonna kill any of you. We're gonna do something much worse. I want you to give me your phones, your fucking keys, your wallets, your candles, your fucking cappuccino cards, whatever you fucking got. Your wallet. So what? Shut the fuck up, let's do it. Where's your fucking phone? Oh my goodness gracious. Where's the fucking phone? Fucking iPhone 10, is it? All right, now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, consider yourself liberated. You are free to go. Go where? <laughs> I'm gonna find fuck. Don't go to neighbors, though. Don't get help. Are we gonna survive? Hey, shut the fuck up. Hey, Twinkie, let her fucking go before I put a ball between your fucking eyes. <laughs> There's all houses for miles around here. I get kicked out of a dozen orphanages with nothing but the shirt on my back. I think you folks will be just fine. And if you're not, well, maybe it's for the best. And hey, what if we won't? Are you gonna kill all three of us? I got nothing better to do. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Help me, help me. Get up, get up! Oh, tick, tock, tick, tock. I want you to leave that bed here. Big talk. Talk. Big talk. Talk. Alright boys, get the mattresses out of the bedroom and put them in the living area. I'm gonna burn this place down. Let's fucking go! Where are we going? 
anywhere. If you find a safe place to lodge, let me know. Shouldn't we be looking for Desiree? We don't know where she is, Charles. Isabel won't tell us. I don't know where she is! And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. She ran off like a coward. Just like Dad. Hey! Your dad is not a coward! You're right. He's not. That honor is reserved entirely for you! He didn't lock himself away while his family was being attacked. And almost murdered. Do you think I feel horrible? What was I supposed to do? There was three of them. It would have been lights out for me at the moment I went upstairs. Hmm. Great excuse, Sloan. I hope that lets you sleep at night. Fuck you! Hmm. Right back at you, you fucking bitch! Now I lay myself to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Charles, stop it. She's a grown woman. Just lay off of him. If he continues to act that way, it's just going to worsen. There is no recovering. He's fucked either way. Where did she go? Where did she go? She ran off before the sun came up. What did she say where or when she's coming back? You gotta tell me these things, Charles. You know better. I'm sorry. Can we go now? It's cold in here. Yeah. I think I know where she went. What? Isabel. Where? Where did she go? She got into the car and they drove off. A car? What the fuck didn't you wake me up? It was far away. I think it was black and white. Did it sound like that? Howdy, folks. Pick up any passengers today? You're my first. Name's Warcry. On account of you, you're always here becoming. I don't need to know your name. We're just looking for someone. Well, cover more ground if you just get in. You don't mind the noise, that is. Charles, is this the car? Look, we don't have much to offer if you're okay with that. Hey, not everybody out here is a fucking asshole. Get in. Right now. 
That skin and juice. Your son's the one I caught yesterday straight aside from my tank. Greetings and salutations, Just put me out of my fucking misery. talking about. She's either tied up or dead. <laughs> the disciples are on a tight ship. How far up the road is the fortress? I wouldn't give you the slightest satisfaction. 
I'm coming, baby. Don't bother with me. I'm just gonna slow you down. Charles, how are you? Have you been hit? I don't think so. Come on. We gotta keep looking. you folks looking for a good time? No. But we appreciate the help. Look, we don't have any money, but um, maybe we can find something to trade. Well, what are you offering? This tall glass of water for sale? No, he's a happily married man. Oh, ain't no such thing as institutions around here, hon. My name's Pretzel. This is Spoon. What do you call yourselves? Look, I'm not much in a conversation. Let's just get where we're going. Let's go. Where for? Come on, Charles. Look, we're looking for the Disciples' Fortress. Man, y'all still got a ways to go. Why don't you two just spend the night here? Head out in the morning. 
Where did you find them? Same place we found you. Hitchhiking. But you safe though, girl. Hell, I got enough meat and pussy around here that I know what to do with. What business you got with the disciples for anyway? Two common folk like you gonna fuck around and go up there and get killed. Especially when you armed and whatnot. You're from the Alma suburbs, aren't you? Yeah. I think I used to see the two of you around there quite often. We used to live there. You're from Alma? You don't look like it. Neither do you. I used to have a plush job, comfy savings. You think I like living like this, like a fucking animal? It's something we've quickly grown accustomed to. I suggest the two of you toughen up real quick or you're not gonna make it out of here alive. If you can't beat him, you gotta join him. The hell you keep looking at her for? I don't know, she, she looks familiar. Where'd you find her? The hell you care? I'm just curious. Well, we call her Pookie. Because she's just as cute as a little teddy bear, but just as fucking useless. She usually deals with my soiled laundry and, uh, Spoon has his way with her when he's in the mood. Enough about me, let's eat. You gotta treat them like animals because they are animals. You goddamn filthy dogs! <laughs> you better savor that. Let alone have some goddamn manners. There ain't that many hogs left around hey! here. He hasn't eaten for two days. Why the hell you keep looking at her? Yeah, maybe she used to be a nightingale, but now she's just a pile of trash. She contaminated? Spoon. than she looks.
Let's go, Charles. Stop looking at her! I said let's go! I don't have much left. <laughs> What's your name? <coughs> Heather. <sighs> Is the fortress far? I'm headed there myself, actually. Holy place with open food and water I know of. You don't look like a disciple. They're just going to chain you up. I'd rather be a dead. You from Alma? Close. Brigadier. Oh, that's the first sip of water I had in days. I haven't eaten over a week now. Why are you headed there? Family business. What kind of radiation he got? Some forms are contagious. He's not contagious. I'm not taking any chances. Suit yourself. Wait, 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 wait. I'm about to collapse if I continue on by myself. What do you have to offer us? I, I, I don't know what I can offer you, but but, but you look like d decent people. Are you? Come on. Our daughter may be held prisoner there. If so, we're going to have to take her by force. Do you know how to use a weapon? I'll be up front with you. I can't. We'll have to use you for some diversion. Whatever I can do to help. You know, I was a secretary for 15 years and then a stay-at-home mom for five. I've never even been camping before. So you're worthless. We get it. That's it. You can see it just past the trees. Look. All right. I see three disciples. There's probably more around back. How should we proceed? All right. Just watch him. I'll be right back. But, uh, when will you be back? How long should we wait? Just stay here. I'm going to go see if I can see Isabel. If not, I'll be right back. Everything's gonna be all right. You must be so scared. You never told me your name.
Oh, sweet Jesus! Where are you coming from? Uh, oh, we were just walking down that road over yonder and st stopped to take a, uh, a br brick. Anybody else with you? Is he contaminated? Shut her up. <laughs> Take her to pin. Strangers? What's a couple of nice folks like you doing all the way out here? We're just looking for food and water. What makes you think I'd give you anything, Nightingale? Huh? Oh shit! He doesn't look too well. He destroyed our family! things ma'am. Now me, I'm just finishing what I started. I wouldn't be much of a revolutionary now if I didn't, would I? That's right. Now I may not remember all of my actions, but I surely do remember my first. It's quite an honor breaking into your home, terrorizing your lovely husband and daughters. I'm sorry you missed that. Oh wait. Wait, were you hiding in the house that day? Oh, I bet you were, you were, weren't you? Oh. Well, I got a hand it to them. They didn't give you up or nothing. Not even with death breathing down their necks. Boy, he's dead now. I did him a favor. He was gonna be dead in a few days anyway. Mm, that there is stage four brain rot. I should know. I see it almost every day. Now we ain't gonna kill you. Because you're too strong. And the disciples, well, they love a strong woman by their side. And unlike your husband's company, we are an equal opportunities employee. <coughs> I bet you learned from the experience, though. Living like me and my family did for decades. You can thank me later, ma'am. It does build character. Stop your life, Quicky! Sit! You fucking dumb cunt! You realize what you've done? I'm the closest thing to a god this country got left. I brought balance, you rich bitch. Oh, you're dead now, honey.
Is there anyone inside I should be worried about? Is my daughter inside? Who? My daughter. Her name is Isabel. Can you even remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. She's not inside though. I don't know where she is. <clears throat> Look, I want to need to see a doctor. Then you shouldn't have run. Uh, I'm going to lose my leg if this shit gets infected. Do you know of a hospital around here? No. We burnt them all down. I tell you what. I'm gonna go inside that mansion and I'm gonna pack up everything I can carry. And then we're gonna go look for my daughter. Are you out of your fucking mind, lady? I can barely stand on my own two feet. Do you have a better idea? Yeah. We live like king and queens up in this posh pad. I mean, Pin's dead. His goons are dead. Ain't nobody gonna bother us. Yeah. You see, that doesn't sit right with me. You're too goddamn ugly. So what are you gonna do? You're just gonna go on some wild goose chase? Who knows where your fucking daughter is? Nothing better to do.